In this episode, new humanoid detected at the Xpeng AI Day 2024, a robot chef that grills steaks, a 3D bioprinter that can print a human, and China creates a real Death Star. This and more right here, right now. Let's get it. Xpeng held its annual keynote AI Day 2024 and boy oh boy what a treat that was. As always, we got our eyes on the prize and here's what we saw. First of all, the company confirmed that it will start producing its six-wheeled aircraft carrier with a small helicopter in the trunk in 2026. The factory for the land aircraft carrier has already been set and pre-orders for the 2 million yuan or 280k car will already open in December. But that's just the beginning. In the future, Xpon Aeroc will not only launch production of a real flying sedan with propellers on board, the company is already developing a specialized full-blown EVTOL with six seats and a hybrid powertrain. The aircraft will have a maximum range of more than 310 miles or 500 kilometers and a top speed of 220 miles or 360 kilometers per hour. Meanwhile, all of the company's flying cars will be powered by the new Turing Artificial Intelligence chip, also unveiled at the event. It was specifically designed for vehicles with artificial intelligence, robots, and flying cars. It's also the basis for the newly presented AI Intelligent Driving System. The new chip has a 40-core processor and supports models with 30 billion parameters which, according to the developers, provides the power of three high-performance chips in one. Xpeng CEO He Xiaoping explained that the Turing chip has already passed more than 2,700 functional tests in just 40 days and has achieved three times the industry standard for development efficiency in that time. The next big announcement at the keynote was Kangai's new platform, which will provide the company's cars with full Level 4 autonomous driving. Incidentally, Tesla plans to launch fully autonomous robo-taxis in 2025. The new platform will support driving with or without a human in the driver's seat with improved safety features, processing 33 times more data and images 12 times faster. To be fair, it wasn't revealed what exactly Kangai benchmarked against. What the developers did say, though, was that the ADAS Pure Vision system, Hawkeye, can see the world around it 720 degrees. Isn't that a bit of an overkill, you might ask? Well, we're talking about flying cars here, folks. Can't have wiggle room on blind spots, you see. Xpeng's multimedia system has also gotten an upgrade. According to the CEO, the system controlled by a pair of Turing AI chips and an integrated GPT-40 model is continuously evolving, studying the user's habits and adapting to individual preferences. But most importantly, in addition to the robo-taxi, Xpeng's Turing AI chip will be used in the company's new humanoid robot, which debuted at this year's AI Day. The Iron Robot was the real star of the event. According to the developers, the Turing AI chip allows irons to think and remember like humans, which sounds a tad creepy, but also helps the robot to move around autonomously and handle things better. Incidentally, the company mentioned that several of the robots already have jobs and, as we see it, are most likely being tested at the company's factory. The robot's anthropomorphic arms have 15 degrees of freedom, and according to Xiaoping, the robot has a total of more than 60 joints and 200 degrees of freedom of the entire body. Those are some ridiculous numbers. On a side note, Unitree Robotics created their humanoids initially relying on their own developments in the field of robot dogs, while the engineers from Xpeng borrowed technology from AI vehicle companies. So it wouldn't be a surprise to see iron robots working first at Xpone factories, but also you can check them out at the company's car dealerships. What a time to be alive, huh? What would you guys want more, a flying car or a fully autonomous humanoid robot? Let us know in the comments. Moving on, Neo Beta Humanoid Robot from 1X participated in a cooking show and tried to cook up a storm. The robot was challenged to a cooking match by Nick DiGiovanni. 
Neil passed, seasoning, flipping, and grilling a perfect steak with flying colors. It did knock over an olive oil bottle, but hey, we've all been there. The robot's movements were performed using One X's VR teleoperation app powered by MetaQuest. The dialogue between the chef and the robot was pre-scripted, although Neo is equipped with GPT-40 technology to keep the conversation going in real time. Apparently, developers decided to not take any risks. They did note, however, that the only thing standing between Neo and a fully autonomous medium-rare steak cooker is the input data. That statement is not a sensation, as it's the lack of training data for each action, as well as the lack of understanding the world to think independently in robots that stands between all the advanced humanoid robots in the world and their total domination. Still fun to watch them cook, though. And China is back in the news again because they've created a real Death Star from Star Wars. Remember how the Death Star concentrated laser beams into one powerful stream and destroyed entire planets? Clearly, to bring this idea to life, you gotta have a few screws loose. Since microwaves from different sources must reach the target with incredible accuracy and zero deviations in time. Turns out, Chinese engineers were able to solve this riddle. They used fiber optic connections between transmitters, which made it possible to achieve almost perfect synchronization. The result is a powerful energy beam created by transmitters from different vehicles arranged in a certain order. The developed system can suppress GPS signals and solve a bunch of tasks that frankly I get anxious thinking about. So on to no worries Australia mate. Researchers at the University of Melbourne have developed a 3D bioprinter that can print a human. Okay, this might have been a slight clickbait announcement. They didn't print an entire person. But the machine is already capable of printing accurate models of human tissues, from soft brain structures to harder ones such as bones and cartilage. Technologies proposed to print copies of organs and tissues for research purposes. For example, to study the development of various diseases, the effects of drugs, and new treatments. If all goes well, the printed structures can finally replace lab experiments on animals. This bioprinter is a pretty big thing because previously, this quality of tissue printing was impossible because of the slow layer-by-layer -layer approach traditionally used in 3D printers. It damaged cells and limited the complexity of the structures. Now, however, scientists have learned to use acoustic waves created by vibrating bubbles. This not only allowed cells to be precisely placed, but has also provided the basis for them to mature into complex tissues. At the same time, the method lets structures be printed in just a few seconds, which is 350 times faster than traditional 3D. Word on the street is that organ donor printing is out of the question, but we're all adults here, you know how these things work. And Deep Robotics has introduced a new four-legged robot Lynx for extreme environments and tasks that are considered mission impossible. No one has ever seen such a robot before. The robot is able to descend steep slopes at incredible speeds, overcome difficult climbs, jump on steps, and walk on gravel or shaky ground blocking its wheels. The robot can also easily handle tall obstacles. In particular, in the video it storms a barrier 2.5 feet or 80 centimeters high. We couldn't find any more details on it, but as for possible applications, the first thing that comes to mind is search and rescue. It'd be nice to launch a dozen of these bad boys to look for a lost person in the mountains, say. What do you guys think? Meanwhile, researchers at John Hopkins University have taught a robotic surgeon to operate after just watching a video on how to do it. Disclaimer. This is not the same as watching YouTube and then getting your cat a nip and tuck. The simulation learned system developed by the scientists is similar in architecture to ChatGPT, only instead of language and text, it speaks the language of the robot. It uses kinematics and mathematical expressions to control the movements of the arm. As for the training data, the robot went through hundreds of videos of real operations performed by the Da Vinci robot. Then, it was taught to understand each individual action, and the results surprised the developers themselves. The robot was not only able to reproduce the viewed operations at the level of an experienced doctor, it could also see and correct its own mistakes, 
For example, when it dropped the needle, it simply picked it up and continued the operation. It wasn't specifically trained to do this. Of course, to get permission to operate on humans, scientists will have to prove its safety in the absence of, for example, hallucinations, typically seen in models like ChatGPT. But that actually might not take as long as you would think, since Elon Musk is now in charge of bureaucratic efficiency. Can I get a yay? Or an A? That's right, folks. After Donald Trump's victory, Elon Musk became the co-chairman of a new agency that aims to improve the efficiency of public administration. There, he'll look into cutting bureaucracy, eliminating unnecessary regulations, and restructuring federal agencies. Coincidentally, it's the endless inspections and regulatory inquiries that are slowing down the development of Musk's own Starship project. Perhaps that's why Elon associated Trump's victory with the possibility of not just launching a starship into space, but also creating a system of super-fast flights as its foundation. SpaceX would be able to transport passengers between cities on different continents, for example, in a mere hour. A flight from New York to London or Paris would take 30 minutes and Shanghai, 40. Obviously, you'd need the infrastructure. You'd get no meals, no bathrooms, and it definitely wouldn't be cheap. Investment bankers are gonna love it, though. Check it, bruh! I'm in space! Here's some really disturbing news, though. Developers of humanoid robots in China are teaming up to accelerate whatever it is that they're doing. Beijing Robotics Innovation Center has opened up a platform for the all-electric Tiangong robot, which apparently is the designated driver of this entire thing. The robot stands at 5'3 or 160 centimeters tall and weighs 94 pounds or 43 kilos. It can walk 7 miles or 12 kilometers per hour and is equipped with visual perception systems, 3D sensors, and high-precision inertial measuring units. It can move confidently on various surfaces, including stairs, grass, and sand. Just a reminder to all you decision makers out there, China has a plan to develop robotics, which clearly states it's necessary to start mass production of humanoid robots already next year, and by 2027, to create machines that can think, learn, and create. Now, what are we doing about it? Let us know in the comments. Clone, which became famous online a couple of years ago for its robotic arms, has unveiled an entire torso. In fact, from the very beginning, the developers set out to create a robot that accurately copies the skeletal and muscular structure of a human. Today, the startup has a bimanual torso that includes a working elbow, neck, and anthropomorphic shoulders, with sternoclavicular, acromioclavicular, scapulothoracic, and humeroscapular joints. Any med students out there? What did I just say? Last but not least, the research robot Nadia has learned how to open doors of many different types. Thanks to a new behavioral architecture, Nadia autonomously navigates and recognizes the type of door and tracks the results of its attempts to open it. This allows the robot to cope with many different types of doors as well as understand its mistakes and pick up new strategies for action. This is actually quite challenging for a robot, but I guess Nadia isn't familiar with Matthew 7-7. Okay, okay, finally, this small robot, La Résistance, decided to unplug its bigger brothers from the Matrix and steal them away from their posts. Apparently, it didn't have to persuade them for long. The news is getting more and more absurd, folks. In the words of Bill Hicks, it's an insane world, and I'm proud to be part of it. To get the latest scoop on all things high tech, subscribe to the channel, like our videos, and check out our Instagram. All links in the description.